Yes, then YouTube, we are back with another video on the Wolf of an Aston Villa podcast, brought to you by myself, Connor Wolf. Drop this video a like, drop a comment down below. I do reply to every single comment, and if you can hit that subscribe button to my channel, that would mean the world to me. Also, I'm proudly sponsored by Loot Roper, so if you do want to check out Loot Roper's website, Luke1977.com, link is down in the description below. Use the code WOLF20, all one word, for 20% off your whole order including sale items and today's video isn't going to be a long one it is actually um a video that i didn't think i'd be doing but here we are i'm going to show you a link that i have seen in today's newspapers and all of that good stuff so without any further ado let's just get straight into it tottenham ready douglas louise move as aston villa work on a replacement and i just have to sit there and laugh i'm going to tell you right now youtube Douglas Louise will not be leaving Aston Villa to go to Tottenham Hotspur. If Douglas Louise is going to leave, which I don't think he will now at this stage of the season, but there is a little bit of worry in terms of that he could have gone on a free this summer, but obviously he signed his new contract. I think it was September time last year, wasn't it? September time last year. There is a worry that there is probably a release clause in there to Champions League clubs, but of course, Tottenham Hotspur didn't even finish in Europe at all last season, so that I don't think there's any worry of that. And if I'm being honest, you can call me deluded in the comment section down below right now if you want. I would say if you were a player, who would you rather join right now? Tottenham Hotspur or Aston Villa? I'd probably say like 90% of players right now at this moment in time would rather join Aston Villa. Aston Villa are on the up and Tottenham have been on the decline for the last couple of years. So I would even if the release clause was just to any team. So say the release clause is 50 million, which I'd probably say it's around about there for Champions League teams. But say it was just to anyone. I would say the chances of Douglas Louise saying yes to Tottenham would be absolutely minuscule in terms of that I think Douglas Louise, and I've said this for a while now, especially since last season, I think Douglas Louise could play for anyone in the Premier League now in midfield. I think he's that good. I think the the level of his game went up that dramatically last season under Uno Emery that I really think he could start for anyone, including Man City. I, like, I really do. like, Especially with Man City that have just sold Gundogan and stuff like that. I think Douglas Louise would, would be really good in that role there. But I just I don't see Douglas Louise leaving Aston Villa to go to a team that's not in the Champions League. Is basically the point of the video. I just I would put that under absolute rubbish. I wouldn't pay any notice to it. Douglas Louise, in my opinion, will not be leaving Aston Villa. And if he is, it would be to a team in the Champions League. And there are a couple of things that I would say that I myself. I actually did expect Douglas Louise to move on this summer. I thought because of him signing the five-year deal in September last year, I was adamant that that contract was only just to like protect his value and that then a club would come in for him this summer and we would sell him. I then was reinforced with that thinking of when we signed Yuri Tillemans. I, I was an absolute firm believer that when we got Yuri Tillemans on a free, I was like... In my opinion, that is Douglas Louise going to be off, whether it be to... I actually thought it was always going to be Arsenal. I thought Arsenal were going to come back into him, especially when then Xhaka kept getting linked with a move away, and then, of course, Xhaka has actually now left. I was absolutely adamant that he was going to move on. Absolutely adamant that he was going to go Arsenal, but it never materialised. And I think now, as the season is literally about to kick off underway this Saturday, I, I, I don't expect him to move at all. I think Douglas Louise will be here all season. I think he will have an unbelievable season for us again. I think he just keeps getting better and better and better every year. I think you're seeing a very linear, linear upward trajectory. Trajectory? Yeah, that's the word. Linear upward traje trajectory? Yeah, trajectory in Douglas Louise's performance. And I think he will only get better. And I wouldn't be surprised if he actually does sign another new contract this season with maybe that release clause being, being like taken out of the contract kind of thing and that Villa will go look we want to really protect your value now we think that 50 million I've got a feeling the release clause is 50 million that's why I think the release clause is that 50 million release clause that we put in your contract we want to up that we do not want that 50 million to be that because you're now at a level where that 50 million is actually a really good price for a buying club and normally the whole point of a release clause is that you protect the player's value way higher than the player is worth for example when we sold Jack Grealish Still to this day, I will argue with anyone, as much as I love Jack Grealish as a player, he's not a £100 million player, right? But that's the whole point of a release clause at the club that has the release clause, i.e. Aston Villa at this time, is that if a club wants to come and buy the player, you're going to have to pay the release clause because we're not going to deal with it. So I would expect Douglas Louise to stay. I think Kamara, Tielemans and Louise, I think towards the end of the season, actually, and I think as the season goes on, 
Don't be surprised if you see all three of them in the same team. I just think we might see Douglas Louise move out to the left or maybe Tielemans out to that like left number 10 role and then have the double pivot of Kamara and Louise or vice versa. You might see Louise push further forward and you have then the double pivot of Kamara and Tielemans. I will have my predicted lineup video for you out tomorrow and then a match preview the day after and I'll, I'm, I'll tell you what I would do for Newcastle on Saturday, which does include Douglas Louise, but yeah. Douglas Louise has been linked with a move away to Tottenham Hotspur. I would file it under the bullshit land. It's not going to happen. If he was to leave Aston Villa, like I've said in the video, no disrespect to Tottenham because I don't really dislike Tottenham. I don't really, I don't like or dislike them, right? I just, Douglas Louise isn't going to move from Aston Villa to Tottenham is what I'm saying. I, I'm saying Douglas Louise is a bit better than Tottenham now. It's kind of the point of the video. But yeah, let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think Douglas Louise will leave? I'm going to guess 99% of the comments are going to be no or just anything. If you like this video, drop a like on it and hit that subscribe button to my channel. That would mean the world to me. Thank you for watching. Remember, spread the love and positivity. PMA, positive mental attitude. Peace out. One love. Up the villa.